Welcome back everyone, iOS 13.6 just came out and we're going to take a look at it on my very cracked iPhone 7 Plus. Now my regular 7 Plus is actually on iOS 14, so I kind of had to you know, use this side phone in order to you know, use 13.6, but it's totally okay. Now this update at its core is just a bug fix update. You're not going to have crazy new like features. There are a couple new features that are pretty cool. This is not like an iOS 14 type of update. I will say for a point X release, it is actually pretty good though. Now the size of this update, I didn't get to screenshot, but for most of my devices, it was around 450 to about 500 megabytes. So give or take, you know, it was a little bit around that range. So make sure if you have a 7 plus, make sure you're around that range before you go and update. Now this update brought a lot of cool little features. So the very first one, digital car keys. This is something that you know, was pretty much rumored to be around for a long time. It's been in the beta for a long time, at least in the 13.6 beta, and now it's officially out. So what this is, is pretty much, if you have a car that supports, you know, remote car entry or remote key entry, you can now actually put your car keys in your phone itself digitally and be able to unlock and lock and all that stuff, remote start your device as well, or remote start your car, which is really cool. But me personally, I don't have a car that supports this, unfortunately. But if you do, then this is a really, really cool little feature that you have that capability of doing. So that is now added with 13.6. Apple News also got a little bit of an update. So I think they're calling it Apple News Plus or something, whatever it is. You now have some more capability there. The Health app also got a little bit of an update. I don't know where my Health app is. But that one also got a little bit of an update as well. So you can now go and I think use a couple more features in there too, which is really cool. And I'll put the full change log in the description below. So if I mess something or if I miss something, that'll be linked down below so you can read the full change log. But on my iPhone 7 Plus specifically, I did not run into any boot loops, no anything like that. So if you have a 7 Plus, chances are you're probably going to have a good experience updating to it. Stability should technically be up. Obviously, it's my first time using it on the iPhone 7 Plus, so I can't really tell. But based on the change log, there have been so many bug fixes, which is so important. And when you have a device like the iPhone 7 Plus, anytime a bug fix comes out, it's very important to go and update to it. If you're on iOS 14, I would recommend not staying there. I would recommend downgrading as soon as you can. But if you're okay with being on iOS 14, then it's a free country. Do whatever you want to. But the 7 Plus, if you have a 7 Plus, I would recommend updating. Now I did run a benchmark and I did have 767 as a single core score and 1,343 as a multi-core score. So definitely, you know, decent scores. I won't say they're the best, but you know, definitely good for an iPhone 7 Plus. And I think this is about the same type of scoring that I've seen on most of my other devices as well. So definitely I think it's pretty good. And like I stated, there were so many bug changes and bug fixes and I'll post them on the screen right now. So you guys can kind of see, you know, a sample of basically all the changes that happen. And like I said, there were a ton of them. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.